Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about Swift UI view lifecycle event. Now before that, let's come back and recap what were the lifecycle event for UI view controller. So if you see, we have multiple event actually. So we had view did load, view will appear, view will disappear, then view did appear, and then view will appear. And apart from that, we also had load view, view undid load. So there were multiple events, and then we were using that for our different uh, based on different scenarios or different business logic. Now coming back to the Swift UI, if you see here responding to view life cycles update we have one two three total four method and if you see that the last two are kind of same the tasks which apples have ad uh, added recently but mainly we have this on appear and on disappear now this on appear is exactly same as what we had view will appear and this on disappear is exactly same as this view will disappear so one thing we have noticed that now we don't have any view reload or view did disappear because the other thing was that we were we were using most like view did load and the view will appear because some events we wanted to trigger every time when the user comes to that screen and some event we wanted to trigger just one time now coming to Swift UI we already have on appear that means that this method will get called every time when you come to the screen now I have just created a sample uh, application here which has a list view and then on appear I am just calling a service call to fetch my data. Now I am not going much into detail of this view model I will attach this source code so you can go through it but here I am just doing a simple task that I am just making an API call fetching the data and then decoding it and then assigning to my this published property which I am listening again back to here okay so not to better make sense what I will do I'll just add a print statement here to actually see that how many times it gets called okay so on appear so let me stop and run it again so that I can see my logs as well and you can see that this gets called and my view has also appeared and I'm making the API call that's the reason that this is fetching the data and populating the list okay no, I have on if you see on the destination I'm just going to empty view so let me just click on here so see now I'm on a new screen I'm not showing anything because my purpose is to talk more about this lifecycle method now if I go back and if you see what happens this on appear gets called again so it is behaving exactly what our view will appear was doing it okay now what if if you just wanted to do this API call only one time not every time when the users come to the screen so what we can do for that as we don't have view did load we can declare a state property let's say we can name it anything this will be a boolean property and we can make this value by default as false so for the first time when this view will load this value will be false and what I will be doing I'll just checking this value so if it is false then only I will call this method okay else I will not go call this method and I'll call this part something that this is something behaving as my view did load okay and uh, once this is done I will make this variable as true okay so by default it was false but it is making it true now to differentiate it what I will just do I'll just give a print statement here also and call it something like a view did load just to make uh, uh, you feel that here it is just calling it one time not every time so what we s see here that this also gets printed and this also get printed okay now what I will do I'll go to the next screen and then I'll come back now this time if you see that the view did load get doesn't get print it just print that on appear because next time this value will be always true as I'm making this as true and this part will not get caught so this is how you can make this on appear behave as like view did load and view will appear of the UI kit okay now let me write the second modifier that is on disappear 
so I will just do a simple print statement here so this on disappear as I was talking this is similar to our view will disappear so it will get call every time when the view disappears for you so let me run and see so the first time when the app launched this will not get called because the view is not disappearing but when I go from here now if you see that this on disappear gets called to come back on appear again you move to the next screen on disappear now if I go back here again adds an action to perform before this view appears and then we have this on disappears adds an action to perform after the view disappears now there are two more things that is task and if it is introduced in iOS 15 now what is this task so let's try to use it okay so now I write here task so if you see that there are three type of options that you get one is task code one is where tasks you can assign the priority and then here one place where you can give the ID now we'll see each one let's see the first the task code okay now here also I'll do the first thing that I'll just do a print statement and I'll just call that task call now when you run it this task will behave exactly same as your on appear so if you see for the first time this view reload that means this part and then on appear and then task okay again if you go here and come back here again if you see that task gets called so what is the purpose of task as it looks similar to on appear so both this task and on appear what they do they run the they are they are basically the synchronous function this on appear and task as, as you can see that both is getting called every time when the view appears but there is one difference and what is the difference that task has some extra functionality on top of on appear now let's say that you start a service call so here I'm starting the service call and before the service call completes and you know go out of the screen so what will happen that if, you, if I start it from the on appear this task will not get cancelled but if you start something from this task block then if what will happen that when the view if you see this use this modifier to perform an asynchronous task with a lifetime that matches that of the modified view so if the task doesn't finish before shift UI removes the view or the view changes an identity the shift UI cancel the task so you don't need to worry about that the view is there or view is not there the moment the view is removed whatever that is going inside this task block the shift UI will automatically cancel it okay now if you see here that task have okay now before going to that so what I will do I'll just remove this piece of code and uh, I'll just call it from here and what you will see the difference that actually you will not see any difference it will look as it is because the task will also get call and it will make the API call and populate my list okay now other other things that uh, we had there if you see here we can also give the task a priority now if you remember we had multiple priority like we have user initiated user interactive background so based on your priority whether you want to run on the background or something more important you can even give this task as priority so let me just write that piece of code and here you can give the priority based on your requirement let's say that I want it in to go in the background I can just make it background and then whatever the accent you want you can just define your accent here so I, I can just copy the same piece of code from here and write it here and again it will work as it is so it is just that the Swift UI is providing you many functionality where you, you know you need to define uh, dispatch you define that define the priority it, it is just available to use by default no need of doing any uh, or writing extra lines of lines of code for it the last one which we have here that is actually more uh, interesting that is add a task to perform before the view appears or when a specific value changes this this part so now what I can do with my task that I can tell my task that okay when a specific value is changing just perform your operation now for example in this case let's say that if I have something a uh, search searchable okay now what I will do I already have this search text I'll just bind it here 
okay my fast empty empty here so now i have searchable means i have a search bar in my list i need to bind it now let's run it so this time what i will see i'll see a search bar on my top okay and i can do some sort of searching here but right now nothing happens because on the change of this search text i am not doing anything because this is just getting performed on the view appears okay so now let's use the third one that is the task with id okay so now what i will do instead of using this priority i can use the id okay now in, in the case of id also you can pass the priority but as we have already seen the priority so i'll just focus on the id part and then i will pass this search text here okay let me just place my code that's it okay so now what we are doing that we are telling the task that this is the id and what if this this is basically equitable object so if you are using a struct make sure that your struct conforms to the equitable uh, protocol and whenever this search text will change this will automatically call this api so now i click on this search bar and i am just deleting this and you can see the that my list is getting modified right so that's how that task with id is taking care of the changes that is happening on your view okay so these are basically four uh, view life cycles that swift ui is providing to you so if somebody asks you in the interview what are the view life cycle method that is you know, available with the swift ui so it's just not the on appear on and on disappear it's also the task and one is the task with id okay now there are two things which i also wanted to uh, discuss is responding to data changes now sometimes we confuse that this on change and on receive is view life cycle method so these are basically not the view life cycle method this are the methods which we use to perform on data changes like when we use on change let's say that if you want to listen for some property let's say that you have view model and you want to listen for some property change in the view model into the view then you can go with this on change okay let's say for example uh where is my view model so here uh, i'm just taking a variable called service call start service call status okay and so when this service call is actually starting so i'm just making this value as true and once it is done i'm again making it as false okay just to see that i can see some sort of changes into my view now what i will do i'll go to my view and here i can use on change and here what change you want to notice view model dot service call status okay i don't want to perform any no uh, api call or any, uh, i just want to print it that whether it's printing or whether it's calling every time or not so you can see that the new value is true because for the first time when the api call will start so this i'm making this value as true and once the api call is done i'm again making it false okay now the moment i make any changes here as i'm using this uh, task with id here that means for every text change this is going to make the api call and that's the way that my value will also going to be changed for every text change okay so let me just delete and you can see that this is getting called again now apart from that we also have this on receive if you go to the definition adds an action to perform when the view detects data emitted by the given publishers now this is a a very again useful uh, uh actions that we can use for example if you remember that uh, in the uh, ui kit we used to listen for the changes when the application you know, goes to background or foreground by say by using the notification center like we used to you know 
like uh, confirm to that and then we whenever the view used to appear or disappear we used to have a method which gets called okay now in Swift UI the same thing we can do very easily using this on receive for example let's say that if I have a on receive here okay now I will be using notification center dot default dot publisher for dot will enter now you can use anything whatever you want I'm just using for foreground notification and what I want to perform I just want to write that on receive get score okay I can write same thing here also now let's run the application again so when you lo launch the application for the first time there's no call of on receive because this will get call whenever the application comes to foreground so for that let's take the application to background first so now my application is in background right now what I will do I'll click it and then the application will come to foreground and now if you see this on receive blocks gets called and then you can use to perform whatever the actions that you want on this uh, block okay so these two are not the view lifecycle these are like okay this methods are applicable on, on the view level but these are basically the instance method for your data changes if you see responding to the data changes not the view and on this if you see responding to the view lifecycle updates okay so hope the view lifecycles for the Swift UI is clear now that's all for today's video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe that will really motivate me to make more and more videos for you thank you